Ladies and gentlemen, please remember that when you're presented with a sandwich as beautiful as this, it can be quite substantial and we are not anacondas. So therefore, you pick up your knife and you may cut a little piece off and then you eat that bit, which is easier to manage. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember you're not Connecticut. So you pick the napkin up, fold it in half. Gentlemen may have the crease towards them, but ladies always have the crease away because you can then pick up a corner, dab, place it back down in a lipstick when it crumbs and then conceal. Ladies and gentlemen, when eating a burger, we use a knife and fork we never use our hands, unless of course you're Fred Flintstone. Ladies and gentlemen, when having cake with our afternoon tea, we always use a fork because we are not vultures. Ladies and gentlemen, when having your tea, remember we do not slurp, we sip, because you're not a drain being plumbed. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, please remember that when having a pastry in the morning, you only take one, but also you offer to your guests first. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember that when having snacks with your drinks, we never double dip. We are not checking the car oil. Our way. One dip is ample sufficient. Voila. Ladies and gentlemen, when enjoying our afternoon tea sandwiches, we can eat these with our hands. They are called finger sandwiches for a reason. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you drink out of a bottle. We are no longer bottle fed, we use a glass. Ladies and gentlemen, when having your afternoon tea scone, please ensure that you spread the cream first, followed by a knob of jam. And then of course, we place this on top. Unless we are down under, then it's the other way around. The most popular request is what is the right way, the correct way to eat and enjoy your soup and I'm now going to demonstrate this in the British and Royal fashion. For today's demonstration you will require some soup and a soup spoon and then all you're going to do is put the spoon in the soup, push away from you and bring up to your mouth. When we're having a little rest in between the mouthfuls of soup you may rest your spoon at four o'clock as you see here, just on the side. And please also bear in mind that while you're taking soup, do not lean too far over the bowl like this, because you'll resemble a dog drinking water from the water bowl. And also remember, do not make chewing sounds or loud slurping noises while you're enjoying the soup, or you may sound like cows in a field. When you have almost finished, you may then tilt the bowl away from you and then carry on getting the last drops of soup. Ladies and gentlemen, when taking tea, we do not stick our pinkies out. There is no need for this public erection. Pinkies in. <laughs>